this watch isn't really a watch? What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just picked this up and it's a watch here. It'll look like a watch, but is it really a watch? It comes in this nice box here, and one of the reasons that it doesn't have a brand name on it or anything is because this watch mm, doesn't really exist as a watch. Kind of nice, looks pretty good. It's got better presentation than a lot of decent watches that I have bought in the past here. But here is the watch itself. Now you might be saying, Pete, this looks like a normal watch, but this is actually what they call a marriage watch. And a marriage watch is actually when you basically take an old movement and save it and put it into a case and make a new watch out of it. And the reason that they would do this is because back in the old days here, you wouldn't actually have watches. You would have more of a pocket watch. And those pocket watches would actually be pretty large. Now, back in the day, a large pocket watch would be 45 millimeters, 50 millimeters, 51 millimeters, pretty big. If you saw people carrying them, you would kind of think they were like stopwatches of today. Now, what they have done is take a lot of those movements and save them and put them in watches because watches now are bigger than ever. And so a watch now is anywhere from 40 millimeters to 50 millimeters. And so it's kind of normal to have a wristwatch of that size. Now, I will say that the marriage watch movement is kind of like in full steam. They have been around for a while. I have looked at them. There are some brands that have kind of been around for a while. Actually, I had an R page for a while. Richard Page, I think, and he would take some of the old Elgin watches, uh, the movements at least, and kind of put them into new cases. So this one is interesting here because I picked it up, not because I'm a huge marriage watch guy, but this is a brand of watch that I've never had before. And you can see there it's Patek Philippe, a Swiss brand that is pretty famous, you know, maybe not a name that the everyday person is aware of, you know, a commonplace name, but if you are into the watch thing, you probably know the paddock name. And it's not a watch brand that I would normally buy from. And the reason is because I wouldn't be able to afford them. But some of these old movements, you know, kind of restored to modern cases, are, you know, relatively affordable. So this is a more modern case. It's got a nice look to it. Stainless steel polished here. We have some ridges on the side. You can see how these lugs uh, slope down. The case here itself is 45 millimeters across. So it's not a huge case, but it's a perfect Goldilocks size for me. You can see we have the paddock logo on the crown. The crown does not pull out and you just wind it up like this. I do like the blued hands. We kind of have that little uh, Florida de lis or whatever it is on the hands itself. And you can see now that seconds hand, the sub dial right there is ticking away. We have a little guilliche on the dial. I will say that in bright light, this looks like a silver face in kind of like the normal warm white lights of a home or something. It has a little bit more of a gold tinge to it. Just the littlest bit of like that gold look to it. So obviously, you know, right here it kind of looks a little bit more stainless steel, but I really like it. Slightly domed crystal here, and I think the lugs are 20 millimeters, and you can see it's like on this alligator band. Uh, even though it has a paddock buckle on it here, I kind of think this is an aftermarket thing. I have actually sized this to my wrist. I'm going to show that to you in a second here, but I'm just going to try to get that out of the way because I want to show you the movement, and this is what I'm talking about. You can see it's a mechanical movement. It's not automatic, and it's moving quite nicely. I've actually timed this, and it's actually keeping remarkably good time at the moment, but with a mechanical watch like this, you do have to wind them. Unlike automatic watch, where if you put it in a self-winding case, it'll keep time. You know, if you want to use this, you have got to really wind it up, set the time, and then be off. And just remember to wind it up again, say, the next day. So if this is a watch you're going to travel with, you're going to wind it every day. Obviously, it has a crystal back here, but this is what the movement would have looked like. And this is, as far as I can tell, and from place I bought it. The movement is from 1883, I believe. So it's a pretty old movement, older than me. Not as old as my girlfriend, but it has held up much nicer than my girlfriend too. So you can see that it's obviously so well made that 100 plus years later, this thing is still a ticking and obviously keeping good time. So the thing I love about this is that 
Again, these marriage watches are kind of a way to save some of these old movements and also maybe get a brand on your wrist that you wouldn't normally wear. So I've seen some of these that really look nice and you know, you can see some of the Breitlings or the Omegas or some of the other brands out there that you might have wanted and they're gonna be a little cheaper in a marriage watch setup like this. But marriage watches can be of all different stripes here. I mean, they can have the old porcelain dial, sometimes they're chipped, sometimes they're a little bit faded or stained. The case might be old. So it's not just necessarily the movement, you know, they might try to use some really antique or vintage parts for other parts of it too so just because you know in this case the rest of the components here the case and the crystal and the band here are all modern that's not necessarily the case for every marriage watch i mean some more than others but if there is a brand that you want and you like the old style you don't mind winding the watch and there's just something about kind of like a a vintage looking watch i mean i would not look at this watch and say hey you know, this is something that just rolled off the assembly line. Just has a vintage look. You know, the Roman numerals are a little bit out of style, but I do like it. You know, that silver goldish dial there with the blue hands and the blue numbers. I mean, I think it looks pretty good. And so I'm pretty happy to have this. It's probably something I would just wear out for special occasions, you know, when you're dressing up and I don't need my Apple Watch or that functionality. I just like the idea of having this old paddock movement in my watch case. So if you want to pick up an old marriage watch or something like this, I'll put links to them in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can stop more explore so much deeper we can live better than ever things to peter peter von Pe